Can we take these off now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we unlocked the door to the decompression chamber, right? Yeah, no point keeping the damn things on now. Off they go. Ah, feels much better. Clover, you're drenched in sweat. Hey, you're not thinking creepy stuff, are you? Of course not. Just put them back in the locker. Okay. You better not, like, smell mine or something, Sigma. I'm offended you would even suggest such a thing. Okay, so. Cylinder. That. Two stars and a diamond. Okay. I believe that is the key. Here we go. Good job. Looks like you were right. Hey, look. Wonder what this key goes to. Large machine. Right. Let's just connect these and... Main body of the machine. The tablet's connected to it. Hey, it says something. I'll read it. Inspecting the protective suit. System is still operating in diagnostic mode. Full range of scan is not possible, so small suits must be used for calibration. Please place the child-sized protective suit in a standing position in the designated location. Touch the screen to begin inspection. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what these are about. Do you think they mean something? So we need a child-sized suit. Was this one locked? Won't open. Huh. It won't open here either. No keyhole, just like before. So we can't open it, huh? Oh, wait, maybe they're for the ones downstairs. I think those two were locked. Good. Looks like you got it open. Is this a protective suit? Maybe, but it's so small and cute. Maybe it's for a kid. It's so small. I know. Isn't it cute? It must be for Quark. Okay, and let's get... Might as well use this one. Good. It opened. There's something in here. Huh. Is this a journal? Looks like it's blank. Not much. Wait. There's a slip of paper in here. This is... Okay. 
Okay. Um. Zero Junior in suit. Huh. Did you put that suit on him? Pretty good fit. Hey, isn't there something on the stomach there? It looks like an eight. Yeah, like you'd see on a calculator or something. All right, let's go back upstairs. Should I put the dressed up Zero Junior doll here? The pattern on the display is the same as the pattern on the stomach of the stuffed animal wearing the protective suit. Touch it to scan the pattern so the device can read the colors in the pattern. Once you have that, enter three number on the right side of the screen and press check. Okay, let's give this a shot. So green, green, blue, Pink, pink, green, then pink. Wait, what? Okay, wait, hold on. So, green, green, blue. Let's take a look at the arc. Hmm. Okay. So the first digit is blue, cyan, red, blue, yellow, magenta, black. And then 
it's cyan green, black, blue, yellow. Cyan green, black, blue, yellow. What am I doing? And then cyan green, black, magenta yellow, which is probably five. Oh, three. Okay. Good job! You deserve a pat on the back. Don't patronize me. Hey, the color's changed. You're right. Okay. Oh, I see. So the first digit, oh, that would be one, one, and then what would cyan, green, magenta be? We'll take a look at that in a moment. This is, looks just like the passwords I found in the AB room and the infirmary. Yeah, this ought to open that safe. So now I know how to read it. Okay, so it's one magenta. Well, it's green magenta, which is one. Green magenta, which is one. And then cyan green magenta, which is seven. Okay. Huh. Did... Did I solve it? Looks like it. I mean, the color changed and everything. So it's star, sun, moon. Huh, this one's different. You think it'll open the safe too? Well, no harm in remembering it. This is the safe, right? Yeah. It's just like the ones I saw in the AB room and the infirmary. So we just type the password in here and it should open. Everything else looks the same. So I believe for the files, it's star, sun, moon. Hooray! It opened! Hmm, good job. Okay. Let's take a look. I haven't found that yet. Here we go, AB game one. This refers to the Ambidex game. It's fair to assume that AB is short for Ambidex, but it also represents the two choices which each player is given, ally and B. A and B. A is the choice to ally, B is the choice to betray. When using the voting machine in the AB room, each player must choose to either ally or betray before the time is limit is up. A round of the AB game is played between the members of the group that went through the previous chromatic door together. The two members of the pair play against the single solo. Each party can choose to either co operate or betray. The BP of each player will change depending on that choice. If you choose to ally and your opponent chooses to ally, you get plus two BP. 
If you choose to ally and your opponent chooses to betray, you get minus 2 BP. If you choose to betray and your opponent chooses to ally, you get plus 3 BP. If you choose to betray and your opponent chooses to betray, you get 0 BP. Penalty. If you break the rules, or if your BP falls below 0, you will be penalized. More specifically, a set of needles in your bracelet will be activated, injecting you with two different drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil B. Nine minutes later, this will be followed by a muscle relaxant called tubocurine. The muscle relaxant, the muscle relaxant will cause your lungs to cease functioning, killing you. In other words, the penalty for failure is death. Voting Machine A machine used by the participants of the AB game to register their votes. It also it uses a touch panel and is not to be mistaken for an ATM. The manual found in the PEC contains the following text in reference to these suits. The air in this facility is kept at a very high pressure relative to the outside environment. This is to prevent air contaminated by the virus from entering. All persons wishing to exit the facility must proceed through the pressure exchange chamber. In order to prevent the spread of the virus and maintain a sterile environment, all persons entering the PEC must wear a specialized hazmat suit. Anyone not wearing a suit will not be allowed to enter the PEC. A type of whiskey made in Scotland. Its unique aroma comes from the peat used in its manufacture. Scotch is Tenmyoji's favorite drink. He often claims a little scotch should scratch this itch after returning from work, which annoys Quark. Root beer float. A well-known drink made by putting a scoop of vanilla ice cream in some root beer, also known as a black cow. My mom calls them these. I've heard other people call them root beer floats, but my mom has always referred to them as a black cow. Cork has taken to saying root beer floats my boat, which warms Tenmyoji's heart. Aww. Okay. And now I'll escape. Sorry, I have to keep going back and forth with the, uh... Okay, star, star, moon. Alright, there we go. Whew. Looks like that did it. Looks like there's a lot in there. Whoa, what is all that stuff? Hold on. I'll take everything out. Just be patient. Let's see. First off... A map. It says 4B. The one we found in the infirmary said 4A. So that means 4A must be the top floor, huh? I mean, we took an elevator down to get here. Yeah, seems like it. Keep going. There's more in there. This looks like... Key cards. They've got moons on them! That means these must be the moon keys the announcer was talking about. There's two of them, just like with the sun key. You take one, Tenmyoji. Huh? Why? You're a solo. Clover and I only need one. Ah, oh, right. Thanks. Okay, got a couple more things. What's this? Oh, looks like a memory card. I feel like I've seen something like that before. But where? I wonder what's on it. Well, unless we can find something to stick it in, stick it and stick it into, we won't be finding out anytime soon. Hmm. Well, we can figure that out later. For now, we'll just take it with us. All we've got left is... the key. Is that the key to the exit? What else would it be? We should be able to get that door open now. Alright, let's go. Come on, there's no time to waste. Let's move. Oh, I hate my Tenmyoshi voice, it's awful. Okay. The lock for the door. 
It says lock. Let's go. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Master of Escapology is me.